Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can take just a few simple materials and turn them into this. So the first thing I did was I went to the dollar store and I picked up these two Fanta bottles. They're about two liters each. It's pretty much the standard for all types of bottles in this shape. And I also was able to pick up some of the 70% isopropyl alcohol. Really any rubbing alcohol is what you need. And that stuff was just cheap and I had it nearby. And what I did is I took some of it, I dumped it in here, kind of washed it around a lot and made sure to wash it a few times to make sure there's no rubbing alcohol still in there because we don't want there to still be alcohol when we dump in our final plant. Also, the other thing I did was I drilled two holes into these caps. One hole is to fit my air pump airline tubing in, or the other is to release the air that gets pushed up. So, now that we got that, we can get into building this. I just finished up filling each of these with fresh salt water, not salt water from my tank. That could introduce pests and other things that could harm your acetoplankton, phytoplankton culture. You don't want that. So fresh salt water, that's pretty much what I put in. And I, I, I'm thinking I put in about a liter of fresh salt water. We'll see if that works. I hope it's not too much. If it's too little, I can, I can just add more salt salt water obviously. The way I'm gonna tell whether it's too much or too little based on how dark green the water is when I add in a, one of the bottles of phytoplankton. I might actually, once, once this clip ends, I might uh, empty these a little lower just cause you know, you can always add more but you can't take out less once the plankton's in there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, I just finished lowering the water level by just a little bit and now I'm trying to size up my RO2 tubing. Ideally you'd have hard IO tubing, not the flimsy stuff, but I'm probably going to attach some sort of weight down here to keep it flat. But uh, I'm trying to keep, give it just enough to where it's slightly off the ground um, of the bottle. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now, and I'm just going to cut it somewhere and then plug it into here. Which, this is the air pump I'm going with. It kind of looks like a beast, but I bought it on Black Friday for around 10 bucks. It used to go for 30 Only downside is it's a bit loud, but I have a few solutions to that but it produces a lot of air. And it comes with uh, these pre-made valves. We'll see how good they are. They are plastic, um, but I think they should be fine. And yeah, it also comes with RO tubing. Some of these for when you want to put it in your tank. But yeah, highly recommend Black Friday. Very cheap, um, but yeah, it should be able to give me enough air for these two bottles and for hopefully, if the culturing goes well, more bottles to come. But uh, let's cut some of this down and get it plugged in. All right, so now you can really see how loud this thing is and how powerful it is. It's very loud. I was just giving it a quick test, and yeah, it looks all good. Probably going to lower the amount of bubbles coming out a little bit. Just size it up, make sure everything's working. You got a good amount of air is letting go right out here. Everything's working great. I'm going to go turn that off because it is so loud. We're going to add in the plankton, and we're going to get this all set up. All right, everybody, so now it is time for the real stars of the show, and that is my starter phytoplankton culture. I got mine from kind of a small business here, Brian's Aquariums. So far, they came in very fast. They look pretty high quality, maybe a tiny bit light, but that shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, came in great. I got it during Black Friday for 10 bucks for both of these, plus some F2 that came with it, but I also ordered my own F2 because I want to continue to culture this. But yeah, so I did some math. It doesn't say on the bottle, but I believe one of these is about half a liter. Again, these things are two liters each. And as I said, I'm trying to get it good. I'm thinking I'm gonna dump in one of these bottles into just each of these. Um, if it's too light, I'll add in some of this one to this one, and dump some water out, but it should all go well and go pour it in now. I would recommend buying a funnel. I did not buy a funnel. I have other ways of making a funnel that can go in there. But yeah, go to the dollar store while you're there buying your isopropyl alcohol and your, uh, your soda. Uh, remember to get a funnel. But yeah, we're gonna pour these into here. But again, if you're looking for phytoplankton, I, I would suggest Brian's Aquariums. Good price, would recommend it. All right, so I just finished pouring both of these bottles. I would have recorded, but it was very hard to hold them both. It's looking pretty good. I think I did get the portions right. You can see this one's a little lower because I decided to put a little bit of one of the bottles into here to make it a little darker and dump a little water out of that one. I think it looks good. And yeah, I can't wait to put this air pump in. So let's get to it. I moved 
all of my water bottle with the plankton all over here. And as you can see, this is under one of my quarantine tanks. I have both the bottles here right in front of this light. I had this light lying around from when I made a DIY refugium for my 55 gallon, which you can see it over here. It's just kind of turned into like an algae growing machine, which is good because I don't have much algae in my display tank. But either way, that now has a really nice light on it. And I just use this light over here. This is just, uh, I got it cheap. I think it was eight bucks for everything. Um, there is a clearance on a grow bulb. So this just has like the purple-ish stuff and is good for growing. And then this is one of your like standard uh, hoods. I'm just gonna plug it in down here. And as you can see, it is very, very bright. It's very bright right here, nothing too complicated. And you'll see in a lot of people's videos, but they'll have lights on both sides, they'll wrap them around. In my opinion, because we are using the bubbles to move the plankton all around, they'll all get the light from this side. Um, we will be leaving this light on 24 seven to give plankton all that time, because you know, that's food, they need that to grow. I'm gonna go get the air pump and put it right over here. I'll see you guys when I do that. All right, so as you can see, I got everything put in. As you can see, I have a lot of slack. I purposely made that that way if in the future I want to, you know, shorten this, lengthen it. It's better just like that. And plus, as you'll see, this is very bright. It lights up like this whole room. The purple's everywhere. I will be covering this up, so I don't really care how everything looks. I mean, that's already a disaster, so I don't really care. But now I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to try to adjust this to my liking. But uh, as you're going to hear again, it's very loud. I have a solution, don't worry. But yeah, we're going to go adjust these real quick. All right, so everything is plumbed up. I might add a few more bubbles here and can adjust this one a few. But basically, that's it. It's like this. Uh, I hopefully see you guys in a week. And if I don't, that means it failed. And I guess you guys can learn from my stuff. Last thing is I'm going to put two milliliters of some of this provided F2 into each of those containers over there. As you can see, extremely green. They had some fantastic growth, and I don't remember if this was in the last clip, but I did change over to these bottles just because I found them laying around and they worked much better. Just with those that air pump and the lights, 10 days, as you can see, fantastic growth. I'm gonna go pop these off here. I'm gonna double the culture. Uh, normally, you would just um, harvest this, but yeah, really great harvest. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video on how to culture phytoplankton. Um, if you want results like this, just do what I did, I guess. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find the original starting culture that I used. But yeah, really great growth. Really happy. Can't wait to start dosing this in my new reef tank. Stay tuned if you want to see that in the future.